Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to upgrade your Samsung Galaxy S from Froyo 2.2 to Gingerbread 2.3.6. Now, first thing you're going to want to do is download the files in the description. Now, once you do that, turn off your phone. If it's turned off, once it's turned off, you'll just hold the power button, the volume down button, and the center key to put your phone into download mode. If you did it correctly, you should see a yellow triangle inside with the Android guide inside. Now, once you do that, just set your phone down for a minute. Make sure it is not plugged in your computer. Now, you're going to open Odin 3. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is click Repartition. Then click on PIT and find the one that ends in 512. This will be in your old folder. Now, you'll just click on these bottom three here, one at a time, and you'll go to uh, the download operating system there, to wherever you save that, and just put the corresponding one in there. Now, once you do that, plug your phone in. If you have it plugged in before you run Odin, it will not work. I'm not sure why, it just doesn't. Uh, all you gotta do is click start. Now, as you'll notice on your phone, you'll start to get a blue bar here in a minute on your phone. Now, this could take up six seven minutes to complete total but once it's done you'll have it on your phone just make sure it doesn't come on plug also it will not wipe all your apps so when your phone loads you'll get a lot of force close errors if you try to run your apps I recommend once it's all done you wipe your phone and reinstall everything just to keep the uh, apps from giving you all the force close errors And just on a side note, uh, this does not have to be done on a rooted phone, and this also will not root your phone. It's just uh, for all your two point, I mean, 2.2 is a little tricky to root there on the Samsung Galaxy S, and the Gingerbread 2.3.6 is a little bit easier to do, so I also recommend doing this if you plan to root your phone. Now the phone is rebooting itself and don't be alarmed it will go through a couple different menus. Also upon first boot it may take 10 to 15 minutes to boot but then after then it will be back down to its normal time. And that is all you have to do to install Gingerbread 2.3.6 on your Samsung Galaxy S. If you found this video useful please subscribe. Thanks.